So as right now we have the flow to launch the application or the website and to download the input file and then to enter some data into this particular website we have the flow developed for that. The next thing that we have to be doing is we have to integrate this with RE framework. As we have discussed in the RE framework concepts anything that we have to launch or we have to have as a prerequisite has to be placed in this particular init block and then this acts as a gateway to send those things to this process transaction where the data entry part or the actual repetitive part happens fine and this is the end process if there are no transactions available then it will be sent to end process so the actual repetitive process is the data entry part so we'll be placing this particular update data in the process transaction and launching the website and downloading the input file in the initialization that said if I just open the first step in the RE framework which is initialization it has got as we have discussed few already available XAMLs here the first thing is system exception system exception is a type of exception that we might get for anything unexpected okay if we have not expected some exception and that comes it is system exception the RE framework comes along with that being set to nothing if I just look at this okay it's a it's a system dot exception type and the scope of this is global okay if I just proceed there's an if state if statement which tells that if first run read local configuration file this block will be executed only once when the config is nothing what is config if you just look at config config is nothing but it's a dictionary okay dictionary which refers to suppose what is a dictionary according to you dictionary is nothing but a word with its meaning right similarly this dictionary will have two pair of values one pair of value which will contain one string and one object type say it's Sharath okay and he's an employee our employer okay so like that say uh, what you can say if you can say um, there is an animal okay suppose a dog okay dog is an animal apple is a fruit such kind of uh, similar things you can assume okay this is just to tell that this particular thing belongs to this if I say one numeric one it should give me a word say o n e one in that case okay. this when whenever it goes through this for the first time there is a lot of data available in this particular config dictionary you can go through dictionary a lot more in detail okay to understand it better it's nothing but a key and value pairs available to you once that is done because for the first time it is nothing so it will go inside this and it will try to invoke this particular flow the things that it will require from us is let's click on import import arguments and you can see it is expecting a file from which it can read the data the sheets that it has to read and is giving out an out argument input is not input direction is nothing but something we, we are sending to the workflow and output is something that we are getting out input is a file path which is string config sheets is nothing but an array of strings okay array is nothing but a type of data type which can hold different values unlike string which can save only one type in it 
or one value in it okay let's go into it if I just open this thing this is an inbuilt thing that comes along with the RE framework no need to worry about it so see here because okay we are sending out an configuration outside if I just show you okay we are sending something out this is the variable that is coming out of in it all settings and we are assigning it to the config argument a config variable which is available in this particular main arguments are nothing but okay suppose here we have we can use some variables right we have used variables variables are something that can be used internally inside a particular XAML but if you want to send something out of out from one XAML to another XAML or one workflow to another workflow to another workflow we need arguments so that is what we are using right now here this out config is declared in this arguments okay so that it is available in this main in this main also we have a config right here so we are assigning the config argument of this particular in it all settings to the mains config variable I think it's clear right okay so we have tried to initialize any data type that you use has to be initialized so here we have initialized the dictionary this is how we initialize it there is the syntax for that once that is done we have the RE framework has used a for each activity okay where the type argument is string then what is this taking it is taking the config sheets if I just go to this and open the config file which comes default okay there are sheets available in this settings constants and assets so that is what we have passed from here settings and constants we are asking the RE framework to read those two sheets so first time so array it is taking the input array again this we have settings and constants for the first time it will take the settings so it has taken the settings it has passed this will cont this sheet has settings right now the value settings in the next iteration it will have constants okay right now we have come over here read range we are passing the in config file what is in config file in config file is nothing but the path this files path close this the path of this particular thing okay because it is in the project structure we have passed the relative path of it relative path will include just the path from that particular folder okay data inside it the configuration file so this in config file will contain that value and the sheet is nothing but the sheet name that we have passed which is settings so let's come here the range is empty because we are not declaring the range of it this all comes as a default thing don't worry uh, the RE framework the UI path has considered to read the headings and all that okay so data table the data table that comes along with it we are trying to save it in settings and constants data table settings and constants is of data table we have saved it and then to iterate okay to add this particular details that were available in the settings tab we have to go through each value available in the data table that we have got through this and add it to the dictionary right so we are passing this the output data table to this for each row and every time we pass through this data table we have one row at a time okay so in the first row uh,
let me uh, okay fine so in the first time we will have the first value such that this row will be available to us in the second iteration this row in the third iteration this row okay in that manner because in the first time we will have something like this we are trying to take row of name and then we are removing any spaces at the beginning or at the end row of name in the first iteration will give us this thing row of name will give us orchestrator q name and to this the value is this when i say name it will be sharad when i say birthday month it will be feb so likewise okay this is the name this is the value if i say rpa challenge url the url will be available over here so that's how the name and value works so this time when i say row of name dot this i have this value available to me right now so it will be over here and if i am checking string dot is null or white space if this is null or white space not so if it is not a white space then add it to the dictionary so out config okay out config and a value to it let me explain you that with an example okay so right now it will be out config of what it is saying is out config of row name row name to string so we have will be having this value sorry we having that particular value here to this thing we are trying to assign what we are trying to assign row of value what is row of value this is the row of value this is what is happening in the back end okay in the in the out config we are trying to save this value to this particular key the next time you use it this particular syntax you will receive this value that we will be anyway looking at in the later lectures okay this is what is happening okay if i refer you say rpa url i will receive rpa challenge dot com okay similarly if you just go similarly it can happen anything okay you can save anything in that way as we are doing it right now so it will try to save everything so it will take this and the next time it is empty so here it will go to the else part because we have kept in condition if any value available in this particular no name column is empty we should not add it to the dictionary so it will go till there are any values available in this particular data table once that is done okay once this everything is done it will go and will take it will go and it will read this second sheet okay once this for each loop has come to end it will take the second sheet available which is constants and in constants also we have column names called name and value okay we can decide how many times we have to retry a workflow okay similarly it will add this values also it will add this with a value 0 whenever we will call this particular max retry number in our workflow it will return 0 to us similarly where we want to store the exception screenshots this folder should also be available to us and this okay it will create that particular thing and once that is done 
then there are similar values okay that we'll be using later okay once that's done we have read all the values from this using a dictionary concept here is something okay here if you can see there is an assets thing what is asset asset is nothing but something okay uh, UiPath provides us with a different service called orchestrator where you can monitor and do the operations and uh, workload management and everything and this project anyway will not be using them so you can just ignore that ignore that particular thing okay it is similar to this we are adding some assets taking from the orchestrate and doing all that stuff because we are not using it right here I will try to explain it later when we use orchestrator okay once that is done once we have added all the values that particular thing is available to us in out config and then there is a kill all process XAML if I just open that there's nothing in it okay if we were using some excels we can kill excels if you are using some Internet Explorer I can kill Explorer and all that can be done through this this things okay if you can read this it kills everything and all that it will uh, written in the description this everything is done once and then we come to init all applications init all applications is something where we actually have all the code to open the applications and to download the input file okay so that was about the initialization stage